In this short video, I'm going to show you how to add countdown timer in Squarespace. Unfortunately, since this functionality is not available through Squarespace itself, we are going to have to make use of a third party platform. Don't worry though, it's completely free to use and also very easy to set up. So the first thing I want you to do is to go ahead and click the first link in the description of this video, which will take you to the elfsite.com platform. Once you click on the link, this is the page that you will see. From here, go ahead and hover over the widgets button in the navigation menu and then I want you to scroll down underneath e-commerce, look for countdown timer. As you can see, it's right here. Click on that and then that's going to take you to the countdown timer widgets page. From here, simply go ahead and click create widget for free and then this is going to take you to the widgets template section. Simply go ahead and choose any of the countdown timers uh, that you like here. So for example, I'm going to go for this one right here because I really like the look of it. Don't worry about the actual design or the contents within the countdown timer. These things are fully customizable and I'm going to show you how to do that in just a second. So yeah, in my case, I'm going to go for this one right here. Then once you're happy with the template that you've chosen, go ahead and click continue with this template at the bottom left corner of the screen. And then you'll be brought to this page here, which is where you can customize the countdown timer to your liking. So the first thing we can customize is the type. At the moment, it is start to finish timer. If you click on this, you get access to two more options right here. You can also customize the actual timer here. You can customize its position. You also have counters and labels, action after timer finishes, time alignment. On the left hand side here, you have a button, so you can customize the button. Uh, you can also customize pretty much anything to do with the appearance. So as you can see, there's a bunch of different styles that you can go for. In my case, I'll go for this one, let's say. But once you're happy with the customization of your countdown timer, all you need to do is go ahead and click the green button here that says add to website for free in the bottom left corner of the screen. And then in a couple of seconds, your countdown timer widget will be created. Now, before you take it to this page right here, you'll be asked to log in into the platform. You can either create a standalone account, which uh, I would recommend you to do. But if you're like me and you want to do it as quickly as possible, go ahead and log in with your Google account. So. Once you're on this page right here, uh, in the top right corner of the screen, you will see a publish button. Go ahead and publish uh, the widget, and then uh, you'll be taken to the plans section. Now here, you need to choose a plan. Since we want to do this free, go ahead and select the free plan right here. As you can see, it allows for one widget and up to 200 views. So uh, in the future, if you do expect to have more than 200 views per month, or you do expect to use more than one widget, you will have to go for one of the premium plans right here. So go ahead and choose the free plan. Then you'll be taken to this page right here, which is where you can access the code for the widget that you just created. So go ahead and click copy code right here and head over back to your Squarespace website. Once you are on your Squarespace website, go ahead and click edit in the top left corner of the screen to access the uh, Squarespace editor. And from here, you need to decide where you want to add the uh, countdown timer. In my case, it doesn't really matter because this is just a tutorial. So I'm gonna go ahead and add it, let's say in this section right here. Go ahead and click add block in the top left corner of the screen. And then if I just move myself all the way, scroll down and you will see code right here. Click on that. And then that is going to add a little code box right here. Simply move it anywhere on the screen. I'll put it right in the center. And then you will see this pencil icon right here. Click on this and then make sure for mode that this is set to HTML. Go ahead and delete the first line of text and then go ahead and paste the code that you just copied. Then in a couple of seconds, your widget will update. Now, don't worry about this uh, message right here. Sometimes it blocks the embeds for some reason, but you can go ahead and preview it in safe mode. And this is what it's going to look like. So now all you have to do is resize it accordingly. And let's go ahead, save this and preview the website and see what a countdown timer is going to look like. So I'm in preview mode right now. And as you can see, here is my countdown timer. It looks really nice and clean. I really like the look of it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how to add countdown timer in Squarespace. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below and I'll do my best to help you out.